Hi, and welcome to my latest video on the design and build of my mill turn machine. If you've been following my video series, you'll know that as soon as I could make the machine move under its own steam, I've been using it to produce parts. Along with learning how to use Fusion 360 to generate the cutter parts, and Mac 3 to control the machine, and the machine itself, I've had a few accidents, a few crashes, a few bangs, broken a few cutters. So I thought I should check out the machine's alignment to see if it's still true as I originally set it up. Let's see how I get on. Just checking the alignment to see where it is in the Y axis. The fixture plate is uh, set against the X axis guide rail. Got an error of about 0.1 millimeters, 4,000. Took a bit of time to loosen off the bolts, speak and the gantry down to the X axis plates. Tap, tap, tap and adjust. And when I was happy, start tightening the bolts. Tighten a few, check it. Tighten a few, check it. It just takes time and patience going backwards and forwards. Get it where I want it to be. Looking pretty good now. That's probably about as good as I'm going to get it within 0.01 millimeters. Now setting up the fixture plate so it's true to the X axis. So I can check my first Z alignment. Now I've got that true, I can do the Z to X axis alignment. This is where it starts to get a little bit funky. There's a funny dip. I'm pretty happy that the fixture plate is perfectly flat and parallel. There's something very odd about the way this is moving. It's not a constant run out as I would expect. Not sure what's causing this. Definitely a weird scenario.
So I've now reset the fixture plate up, clocking it in the Y axis. We seem to be getting quite a lot of movement on the clock. This isn't looking promising. Yeah, you can see it there, massively out. The way this axis is assembled, to get to the bolts is not easy. I'm probably going to have to disassemble the Zen axis and rebuild it stage by stage to get it back into true. <laughs> 